Hello and welcome to next power up review of Satellite Rain. This is part one, um, kind of technically part two, but unfortunately I messed up part one and my open broadcasting service didn't record it properly. So everyone got to see nothing but a system screen for 30 minutes. So sorry for that. Um, but I will try and cover everything that I did in this one today. Um, I have, of course, played through the tutorial and the brief first mission. Um, and I have discovered that this game is not quite as easy as you might think. Um, this is basically a syndicate um, spiritual successor, um, the original syndicate, not that terrible one that came out recently. Um, and, you know, so far it's been pretty pretty decent through early access and the full release. It's now starting version 1.04 um, and it's actually looking pretty good. Um, obviously, for those of you who haven't played syndicate, if you've played games like... Uh, like Dungeon Siege, the original Dungeon Siege, very similar to that, but in more futuristic cyberpunk setting. Um, so first up, we'll go through the um, through the options menu. Um, basically, when you get inside <clears throat> inside the game, you load your progress, and everything is done from there. So there's not really much in the way of a title screen. You just log in, wait a while for the game to load, and it loads everything at once. Um, and then you can obviously tinker away. We'll go ahead and look at the video screen first. Um, there is full uh, 4K support, which is quite nice. Um, you've got quality settings, I mean occlusion settings, not entirely sure what that means. Anti-aliasing, the options are a bit peculiar. I would have liked to have seen these been, I don't know, condensed into slightly more sensible options. It's all well and good giving people options for video settings, but if none of them make any sense, then there's no point in putting them there in the first place because people are going to click on these things and have no idea what's better than the other. Um, and of course we've got V-Sync and it's not capped at any particular FPS um, and shadows and stuff like that. On 4K I was getting slightly bad uh, frame rates. We're talking like 20 and below in the game uh, but that's because it loads the whole map at once and there's lots of rain effects and all that stuff um, so it's quite heavy on the GPU um, but because there are no specific quality settings apart from these that you see here it's very difficult for someone to tweak themselves so that they can get sensible frame rates on 4k without just turning things off entirely and lowering the quality down presets is a nice thing for some people but for others you know it'd be nice to control how good the shadows are or have just like a like a list of how the different sets of anti-aliasing are better than one another. Um, other than that, you have the normal mission control. These are your mission areas, and you can set pings um, like this. Um, and you've got research. We could research this pistol. However, it's going to cost about $6,000, and you can see I've only got 770 so we're holding off on that. You can, of course, customize the loadout on all of your units. Um, you have four guys max at the moment. I've got my main character, a uh, soldier. If she dies, I'll just get another agent in and um, it'll be different appearance. So it's all randomized. Um, we've got a couple of other types. Hackers can hack damn near anything. Infiltrators are your stealthy types. And of course your support. Um, you have augmentations, which is just sort of passive abilities that you can dump into each of your soldier slots. Gear, which is obviously going to be um, like grenades and things like that. Weapons, at the moment we have unlocked a couple of things. We can get silencers on weapons and all that kind of stuff, as well as a, um, a sniper rifle. And obviously the research allows you to get a few more weapons. Um, your clones are obviously your agent clones, which you can use to customize, and you can customize their look. So we're looking white and black with um, extreme neon green around the edge. Um, and of course there's skills. Um, all of my characters are uh, level 1 I believe, apart from perhaps this infiltrator because I just picked them up on the first mission. And then you um, you can give them each passive skill benefits each level once you get it. Um, some will cost more than others. And certain classes will have access to different types of skills. Um, one thing I wished I realised was that the soldier is the only person that has the hardwiring technique. And hardwiring is remarkably useful early game. So um, bear that one in mind. And then, of course, you've got your tutorials. Um, the tutorial wasn't that bad. It could be better, um, I must admit. Um, you can equip new weapons and do stuff at these relay beacons, which you can unlock. And if I just head over to my map, you can see um, other relay beacons that I need to unlock. Um, so, we're going to need some researchers. So, we want to find these researchers. So let's go ahead. You can, of course, choose between your people with one to four, um, and they have their own little passive abilities. So if I hit Y, 
um, my support guy will show me all of the electrical stuff that's connected to all that jazz so we can actually turn this turn this off um, so that these cameras will no longer spot us but I believe it requires a hacker level oh um, but of course these security systems will um, won't go down permanently unfortunately um, they are all timed which is a bit unfortunate but we'll go ahead and disable that because it will make it easier for us to get into places so you press a and you can select all of your units and um, and run around if you double click they will run you can see they've got health meters down here and also energy which is basically like stamina um, so it's telling me that this researcher is right here let's have a look at this mission control shall we uh, blah 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 Lurking around the Western Gap. Use your support agent to world scan, run facial recognition protocols to pinpoint researcher. Pay her and we will automatically get her started. Excellent. Right, okay. So we hit Y. How do we scan? Ah. Uh, just an everyday citizen. So what we're going to do is... Oh, shit, enemies. Everyday citizen. Oh. Hello. Bribe. Oh, I see. So she's down on the other level. Right, so we'll disable that. We'll bribe this woman and then she will begin to research for us. There we go. Ah, so we can recruit random people. That seems cool. Find fresh clones. That's over there. Uh, relay beacons. Bank. Bank is over there. So there's a lot of relay beacons. Um, and clones are over there. So... Ah, parts and storage. So, get your agents into the main facility. We should be able to. Okay, so we'll head over to this Ronin Industries place and see what we can't do. And it might be worth keeping an eye on people to see. What? Oh shit! What abilities they have? Um, obviously you do kind of want to avoid. Avoid enemies when possible, um, and you can press space. I won't do it right now, but you can press space to um to equip different weapons. Um, currently I have two snipers and two guys with um with these umps. So what we want to do is, this game does actually have stealth mechanics, which is pretty cool. We want to get our hacker. What? No, run away. The hell is that? Not quite sure what's going on here. The AI seems to fuck. Kill him. 
Kill them all. Oh, these guys have body armor. So we need to shoot these things before that exclamation mark comes up. <clears throat> Otherwise they call more reinforcements. Right, so we managed to managed to deal with those rather haphazardly, but we will be able to get in here. Um, so what we need to do is get our hacker. Actually, we'll tell everyone to put their guns away so they stop accidentally setting off these camera alerts. So we'll get our hacker <coughs> to unlock this door for us. Right when this camera is going around the other side. Come on. Shit. Quickly blow up this camera before any crazy ass people come along and try and kill us all. Ah, but some crazy ass people are already coming, so it's time to head to ground. And get ready for a firefight. So now that we're hidden. I'll get our sniper to focus on the drone. We need to get rid of this guy who's flanking us. Uh, and we need to heal because some of our people are losing health rapidly. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So I feel like I'm probably going to need to send someone to flank these guys. Sent him over here while he's reloading. Ah, shit. We've got a lot of enemies. Right, so things aren't going as we want them to, so... Damn. Yeah, this game is, is not easy in the slightest. It's actually very, very difficult and pretty tactically challenging. Huh. Well, we sure did mess that up. So, it's not turn-based, but rather real-time, which is a bit of a problem. Um, this I'm just going to let this guy die, because I've already pretty much just messed this up royally. And then we'll have to respawn. So we, the whole purpose is to get into this restricted area, um, which isn't actually too difficult. <clears throat> it's just that, unfortunately, we've now alerted every single enemy in a very large radius to our presence. So we'll put all your weapons away. Actually, one of our guys leveled up, so we'll quickly, we'll quickly sort that out. Skills. So this is another melee person. Okay. Yeah, screw it. I could use some extra money. So now we're going to try and get round here again. Um, I 
So we need to find some more res Ooh, hello. Bribe him. <clears throat> so that's another researcher for us. Which is fortuitous. We'll bribe her too. Um, obviously I don't have an awful lot of money, but research costs a lot of money, so it works out to our advantage because I, yeah, it lowers the cost by about a thousand each time. So you're spending a hundred to lower everything down by a thousand, which, oh, what? They've got a point defense drone? Right, can our hacker hack this? No, because he's useless. Alright, so we're going to sneak in here, try and avoid detection. Oh, 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 get in there. Whew! Good news, blah, 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 fast, blah, 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 blah. All right, so what do you want us to do? All right, I think I can do that. So we'll head up north once we've escaped this place without being detected. Although I would really like to stealthily snipe someone in the back of the head. Um, We seriously need to get out of here. So fortunately, people don't shoot you to hell on sight for no reason whatsoever. Um, but we are going to run like hell so that we don't get murdered by stupid amounts of people. Um, and we're also going to see if we can look out for a few extra researchers. Um, then we can research those pistols without getting charged thousands of pounds. Dollars, rather. Whatever money they use in the future. Luckily, you don't get murdered by cars either, which is nice. So where do we need to go? We need to get up there. Right, there's drones. Oh god, these drones are everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can complete this other mission. And avoid detection. That's the thing that's quite interesting about this game. It's all in one giant city. Um, and it's remarkably... Ooh, what's this? Stand near Emma Box is really big. Okay. So we need to get inside. We'll probably take the back door. If there is one. Which there probably isn't. Ah, that looks like one. Yep. Yeah. Ah, that's a zip line. So one of my guys has the um, the thief ability, so she should technically be able to zip line down there. Hopefully. Yeah. Right. So where does that end up? I don't really like a single unit's chances of making it through this. Uh, looks like we might not be able to take a back door, but we'll have to... You know what, let's try. Let's try and complete this with a single agent. She has a sniper rifle. She should be able to one-shot people if she's close enough to their back. Uh... Don't know what that means, but we'll do it.
So I'm probably going to have to go out this exit and... I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to try and head into that restricted area. Without getting seen by the guards. Oh, this could be incredibly difficult. Whew. Laser pistol. Okay. Oh shit. Run, bitch. How can they see me? It's dark, for Christ's sake. Bollocks. Shit. This is really not going very well. I need to lure them round this way. And not die while being shot at. Oh god, the drones, the drones, the drones! We can make it, we can make it, we can make it. There just has to be no other enemies on the way out. Damn, those cameras have long... Fuck, 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 come on, come on. Yes, oh. Oh my goodness. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, so we made it out, but we really probably shouldn't have. So we'll put our gun away. Oh man. Oh, this guy's gonna get the surprise of his life. Well, I don't understand. This is all a bit weird. It's not... doesn't seem to be allowing me to select all my units. There we go. That was odd. Alright, so we managed to complete that mission. That was a little bit all over the place, to be perfectly honest. I can see... It is a little bit weird, but... Um... Ah, uh, so what did we... Alright, okay, so we got the one that was in there. Alright, okay. Makes sense. Alright, so we'll remove that paint, and we'll... Remove that ping. Remove that one. And we'll remove that one. And then we'll just choose one particular one to do. So... I'm thinking we do this bank th uh Oh, well, that's quite far away. You know, let's see if we can't research one of these things now. We've got 2,000. Uh, we need more researchers. Oh, so researchers make it cost more because they research it faster.
Right. Okay. So we want to take a look at the stats of both of these pistols and see which one is better. Armor. One does more shield damage, one does more armor damage. Uh... To be honest, I think I'd rather go for the organic, uh, to the armor damage. So we still don't quite have enough money for that. So we'll head up to this bank and see if we can find ourselves some more researchers. This is probably a little bit slow at first, I'm guessing. It's going to be a little bit me, But I think once I get into it and I start unlocking a few more things and it just generally gets a little bit more in-depth in the way you start to solve things, um, I reckon this could, this could potentially become a rather interesting affair. So that's another data server. So we need to get in here avoid the cameras and activate that hmm and the bank is oh damn okay so this should be a relatively interesting one let's go ahead and hack this Think we probably chose a poor timing for these guard patrols, but I need to get that data cache. So we'll hide all our units behind there apart from our hacker. So it seems like, oh. Oh crap, it happened again. Let's go ahead and see if we can escape through this elevator or something. And avoid getting everyone horribly murdered. Oh, come. This game is not as easy as it looks. In fact, it is surprisingly... Oh, Jesus. Cover is destroyable as well. Excellent. Uh, hide you behind there. You're a sniper. You can deal with it. <laughs> Basically, I think we're boned at this point. Unless we can escape over here. Which looks like our only option. So we'll go ahead and run like hell down here. I don't want to lose another agent. Oh, crap. We really shouldn't shoot civilians. That is a terrible, terrible idea. So we need to get out of here. You know what? Maybe instead of jumping in and trying to trying to take on a fucking bank, we should just go find the relay beacon. That seems sensible. So the closest relay beacon is down here. Yep. We'll go down there. Right, let's heal everyone. as we'll look out for researchers while we're at it. So where are we now? We're here, we head down this road. Take a right, okay. Auto saves aren't really that frequent to be honest. Um, 
they are pretty pretty light on the ground. I wish I could hardwire. I really should have taken that hardwire skill. I regret not taking it earlier. So we're here and the relay beacon's over there. So we need to grab this one. Okay. The researchers are knocking around. That looks important. You, go install money siphon. I require more money. wonder if it's a one-use thing, or whether it slowly siphons money over time. It must do it over time. Turn that off, because everyone's healed. What is this? What's this ping over here? Ah, another relay beacon. Right. Is there a relay beacon over here? Seems odd if there is. Oh, it's there. I'm guessing once you level up, you will slowly unlock more potential stamina for your guys. Because at the moment, they run out of stamina way, way, way too quickly. There's nobody to bribe around here either. Ah, researcher. Select the civilian. Oh, this is a clone. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, so you can fast travel. Got to kill him before he alerts anyone. Got to kill that before it alerts anyone. Got to kill him because reasons. All right, now we've unlocked a beacon, we'll, we'll probably leave it there until next time. I, it's likely I'll probably upload a vi n b b b b another video today, or um, sometime tonight, probably. Now we can use blah, 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 you cannot... Okay, okay, select the beacon. Let's travel all. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Yeah, whatever. So we've saved it. Um, and I'll probably rejoin you guys later on tonight for a little bit more. <laughs>